Jeff, we know that a lot of people these days are talking about company culture and it's becoming a trending topic. So in your experience, what tips do you have for people to create a great company culture that will attract candidates applying to their jobs? Amazing. Yeah, I think um, the thing that most people want, and if you look at engagement data or if you look at what companies want, it seems like most people want the same thing. And they want to work in a place that is, you know, it's a high performance culture. And so in a high performance culture, there's really three elements. One is that leaders are effective. Um, the other one is that, um, you know, leaders in the company are helping people grow. And the other piece of the equation, the third piece, is that the company, the people in the company are achieving meaningful goals together. And so for achieving goals, uh, if leaders are helping their team and if leaders are effective, and those are all measurable things, that's all the work we do in supporting lines, actually, um, you're going to have, you know, you're going to have a high performing culture and people are going to be highly engaged. You're going to be, you're going to be successful. So if you think about building a culture that's going to attract people, those are really the elements that you want to tackle. The two that we tackle, I mean, leadership development is something that's important in all companies, but it takes a lot, a lot of time. So one of the things that we focus on, and this is work I did at Mobify, it's work I do with all my clients now, is we look at how do we help companies set and then ultimately achieve meaningful goals. And then the other piece is helping um, individuals uh, whether they're leaders that want to support their team and support their growth, or it's people that want to be in a really fertile environment for their own professional development. Um, we're trying to cultivate employee engagement. We're trying to cultivate, um, you know, a very, a very robust environment, very rich environment for people to grow. And, and when we say grow, we talk about entire, like whole life growth. So people are thriving. They're, you know, they're healthier. They're successful in their careers. They're more autonomous. Um, their life is getting better because they have this role. And so I think if you're aligned on those kind of principles, then you're going to create an environment that people want to work in. So it's, it's not about, you know, ping pong and foosball and, you know, all the stuff in the kitchen and whatever else. It, it, some of those comforts are good. But what people really want is they want to be growing and they want to be achieving meaningful goals. And so that's really what you want to do is creating the conditions for that. And so that's, um, you know, we could post in the chat if you want. I have a, a free engagement survey that people can run for their organization. And in eight minutes, they could kind of self-assess if they think they have a thriving culture or not. And so that's something I'd be happy to share where people can run that. And then um, if they were interested, we could debrief it with them. Yeah, thank you for that offer, Jeff. And I feel that especially these days, people want, as you mentioned, to grow or they want to work in a company that they know that there will be career growth, either yeah. personally or professionally. That's what, what they're looking for. And all, all other perks that you mentioned, they are good. But if a company can target this niche, I feel that that will elevate their recruitment game and that will help engagement. And as you mentioned, more people will apply and cause they want to work in that company because the employer has the back of the candidates or the employee because it's a two-way communication. It's a two-way uh, uh, thing that people are looking for these days. Yeah, totally. And, and this is the thing that people spend most of their time doing. So I think there's lots of conversation about, you know, what do people want at work and millennials and other things. I mean, when you come right back to it, people spend more time at work than they do doing anything else. Mm. Uh, I also don't believe in this concept of work-life balance. I think it's just life and there's just balance. Mm. So what we want to do, we have a higher, like, I mean, there's all kinds of research that shows that if we are thriving in our work, which is the most, that's where we spend most of our time. Mm. If we're thriving in our work, it, it impacts our entire life for the better, which means that then impacts everyone around us. So again, if 85% of the world is disengaged in their work, that means we actually have a societal problem. This is not an issue just for companies. Yeah, I totally agree with that. And again, thank you for sharing that, uh, that free uh, thing that you're going to give us, Jeff. And I'll, I'll mention it in the comments section. Perfect. Where companies or people want to get that survey. And for the audience, if you have any other tips that you feel that are beneficial, for creating great company culture, please leave it in the comment section. Uh, like and share this video so other people can benefit and subscribe to the channel and tune in next time for another question with Jeff.